Another discovery in Antarctica, this is amazing, a bizarre 250 million year old fossil discovery exposes the shocking past. What happened? Obviously, something drastic. We know that uh, Charles Hapgood has a theory of the pole flip, the pole exchanges happening in from what uh, the uh, declassified CIA document said, and I have to read that again for you, could have happened in as little as six hours. Can you imagine? This is by Cal Mahor on Express UK. So it could have been that, of course, at one time Antarctica, from what they say, could have been around the equator or somewhere a lot closer than what it is today, obviously. And for that reason, it had animals roaming around the whole of that continent. Antarctica researchers stumbled across fossils dating back, they say, more than 250 million years ago. And that helped shed light on this continent's past. It was not always icy, obviously. It was teeming with life. Antarctica is Earth's southernmost continent where the geographic South Pole is located. The frozen desert is home to some 1,000 scientists. You have to have permission to go there, of course. It's not open to everybody. And they live there in the blistering conditions of the cold where they can reach 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees Celsius at times as they attempt to understand more about the history of the Earth. What happened? Last year, Christian Sidor, Burp Museum curator of vertebrate paleontology, visited the secluded continent because he wanted to carry out his own research as to what they found there, or what could be found there. He uploaded a mini-series uh, to the Burke Museum YouTube channel, and there he reveals some of the bizarre discoveries. He said, we were looking for fossils that document the recovery of animals on land about 250 million years ago, the time period just before the big mass extinction. That's your Davinian, you'll see in the video just before this one, uh, where uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson talks to other scientists concerning this. And they had the idea that it could have been a gamma ray burst from another galaxy that basically uh, flung out into Earth and wiped out the ozone layer and then got onto the Earth's, uh, of course, uh, on, onto the uh, ground level. And he said the only way you can escape that is if you go deep underground or in some cave where you have protection from all this and have water and food and uh, can outlast this. And that's the only way you can outlive an extinction level event like that one. So he says, we spent about two months in Antarctica, going back to uh, the scientists here of the Burke Museum. He said, we spent two months in Antarctica we found fossils of animals that are close to reptiles, a bunch of fossils that are amphibian relatives, and even some fossils that are distant relatives of mammals. He said, we also found a good number of trace fossils. Some of those are burrow, so uh, those that burrow. So these animals are digging dens back in the Triassic. Some of them were footprints that they found. Some of them were plant materials. Megan Whitney, a graduate student from the University of Washington, explains to viewers how the pair stumbled across a brilliant treasure. She said, so we take these crazy rocks and cut up a pedestal around the fossil. Then what happens is, after we chiseled out all this rock, we put a plaster jacket on top so that these are scattered parts, uh, these are the scattered parts of a Lystrosaurus, she says, we're going to be looking for signs of how this animal was affected by the extreme seasons that it encountered and lived in. Dr. Sider revealed why the discovery is a huge breakthrough. Scientists have to understand what the planet's history is. He said, in the past, we've sort of known which families of amphibians have been there, but we've never known exactly what species they were. But because we have so many of them, and they are so well preserved, I think we'll be able to now tackle that question to finally know what species of amphibians were around Antarctica 
after the Ordovician mass extinction 250 million years ago. So what survived and what was living there? Before the pole flip, obviously, before Antarctica became, became the icy continent it is today. In 2010, researchers made an even more bizarre discovery. YouTube channel Brightside previously revealed what they found, which was, of course, a recent deposit there. The series explained two bottles of excellent Scotch whiskey, whiskey were hidden in the ice of Antarctica for more than 100 years. After archaeologists uncovered this unexpected treasure, they did not remove its ice trap immediately because they were afraid of damaging their findings. That's why they faded, waited for several years until all the necessary tools were delivered to the site. Only then did they manage to extract the boxes carefully. The whiskey was then defrosted over almost two weeks. It turned out that the bottles survived their, their century-long confinement. They were bottled in 1898, after the blend was aged 15 years. The McKinley bottles were among three crates of scotch and two of brandy that were found buried in 2010. The distillery, which now owns the McKinley brand, chartered a private jet to take the bottles from the Antarctic Operations Headquarters in the New Zealand city of Christchurch, to Scotland for analysis in 2011. The recipe for the whiskey had been lost, but White and McKay recreated a limited edition of 50,000 bottles from a sample drawn with a syringe from these 100-year-old blends through the cork of one of the 100-year-old Antarctica bottles. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. Amazing. And we depend on well, your support, your generous charity, because we scientists. help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. I think we will be able to now tackle that question to finally know what species of amphibian were around Antarctica after the mass extinction. In 2010, researchers made an even more bizarre discovery YouTube channel Brightside previously revealed the series explained two bottles of excellent Scotch whiskey were hidden in the ice of Antarctica for more than a hundred years. After